happens is um, there's well you line up on August 17th which was two days before the audition for us I auditioned in San Francisco and you get in line really early 
Well, they started handing out wristbands at 8 o'clock for us, but I got there in line at 3.30. And um, we finished getting our wristband around 9 or so. And then after that, um, you can do whatever you want the next day. And then you come back on the 19th, which is two days later. And they say to get there at 5, and they told us that we didn't have to get out of our cars and yada, yada, yada. But we got out and we got in line at 4, and we ended up being... They only had one area where they were filming, you know, like in the very beginning where they pan out and they say, welcome to San Francisco or, you know, whatever city you're in. And we got to be in that, which was kind of cool, but they kept making us like redo it and over and over because we weren't having enough enthusiasm or some people were doing things wrong or whatever. Anyway, so after that we finally got in and um, I was one of the first um, groups to be auditioned and there's 10 tents on the baseball field. And um, there's two judges in each tent, but it's not the American Idol judges. They're, I, don't, I don't know who they are. I don't, I'm not really sure. I think they're show staff or something. I don't know. But um, you go with groups of four into the tents, and you step up one at a time and sing for like 20 or 30 seconds. And I think that, um, I think nine out of the ten tents are already predetermined not to select anyone except for maybe, you know, just the weirdos, and I think one tent is the is a lucky tent, and that's the tent where they actually, if you have talent, they put you through, or if you're not good enough, they don't put you through, but I think if you go to that one tent, you actually have a shot, and the rest of them, you, you really don't. They're already predetermined just to throw you out, whether you're amazing or not. So it kind of, I think, depends mostly on luck, and yeah, so I got done with that. I got there about and I was done by 10.30, but I was one of the first groups, so I just feel kind of bad for all the people who traveled like a really, really long ways to get there, just for it to already be predetermined for them not even to get through that most of the tents weren't even going to listen to you anyway. I mean, they listened, but not like really listened, and I knew a lot of people who came like from across the country or rode buses to get here, and flew and took time off work, took time off school, did all kinds of things, you know, so, I mean, I think it was, the experience was kind of cool, you know, I mean, I get to say I tried out for American Idol, you know, but I wouldn't do it again next year if I had the choice, but I am kind of glad I did it this year, but I'm kind of, you know, disappointed the way it actually turned out. It's not just the fact that I didn't make it, but the fact that you know, if I had maybe gone to that tent, I would have made it, but the fact that I didn't get chosen for that tent, you know, there's no way I could have made it. And, but right after the audition, I got interviewed by a TV guide, which is kind of cool, because I guess they're going to do a segment on American Idol auditions. And um, I got to sing a little for them. I sang a little bit of Amazing Grace, which wasn't my audition song, but they asked me to sing that. And um, they said that's going to be out in September, so maybe I'll be on the show. I don't know. But if I am, that'd be really cool, and you guys should watch out for that. Um, yeah, so it was it was a kind of good experience. I don't know. It was interesting. Um, cause it was better than sitting at home watching TV. But um, yeah, I don't. I wouldn't do it again. But if you want to, I would encourage you to give it a shot. I mean, cause I mean, I've heard from people that it wasn't really you know, the best way to spend your time, but, you know, I thought, well, I'll just try it out for myself, you know. So, I think if you really just want to do it and you don't take take it the wrong way if you get rejected by them, just don't take it personally. And if you're going to do it next year, just be prepared to wait a long time. Be prepared to have to, you know, do everything they tell you to do and stand in giant lines and get no sleep and all that and take off a lot of time. But I mean, it was a pretty cool experience. But I mean, I wish it turned out differently. But yep, that's American Idol season 10 for you.